Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today I'm going to show you how to download and edit the subtitles file that YouTube automatically generates for a video. So you will need three things for this to work. You will need the video URL that you're trying to download the subtitles for. You will need the CC Subs website so you can download the actual subtitle file. And you will need a Mara so that you can edit the subtitle file easily. So first we will copy the YouTube URL for the video we're trying to get the file for. We will go to CC Subs and make sure you're on the Convert tab. You will paste in the video URL and click the magnifying glass. It will start processing your video. Essentially what it's doing is it's scraping the subtitle file that YouTube automatically generated and putting it into a format that you should be able to read. Okay. So it's complete, so we click here to go to the video. It's going to blast our eardrums, and then we will click on the download subtitles button here. It gives you a preview of what everything said. A lot of it's going to be pretty wrong because <laughs> water. That's funny. Um, sorry, it's late. It's 11.11. <laughs> sorry, make a wish. Everyone make a wish. It's 11.11. Um, so all you have to do is download the subtitles file here. You can choose a couple different formats. .srt or subrip is the most popular format. So download, and there it is. And now you go to Amara, and you post in or paste in the same video URL that you used before. We will add a new language. We will go. German because it's German or sorry English because it's English sorry guys it really is late and we're subtitling into English so we'll hit continue okay and then normally this is where you would go and add in the subtitles that you hear like we've gone over before but instead we already have a subtitle file so we just upload the subtitles choose file change the new tab page Firefox is the correct file name open upload and there they are so please go away okay so on the left you have the original subtitle file on the right you have the one that you're going to change or that you're going to edit into and from there on out it is basically just using good old Amara and once you're done you publish and then consider it a completed English translation. So uh, hopefully that will answer your question. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'm sorry for the late night rambling, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.